Yo, what's up guys? I'm coming back at you with the 22R rebuild. This right here is the daily driver rebuild. Um, I don't know if you saw my previous videos, but there was two motors that I was planning on rebuilding. One of them I was calling the daily driver. The other one was the performance, but um, unfortunately the performance motor was too far gone. That one had a rod knock and uh, was not salvageable. So I'm here with the daily driver rebuild. This motor is gonna be going in my truck and uh, I'm super stoked about it. We're finally at the stage of assembly. Got all of our parts and everything and we are ready to rock and roll. Um, <clears throat> so I got this block back from the machine shop. They overboard the cylinders, I believe to 20 over. They also surfaced the head, the top of the block. And uh, right down there, we have a fully rebuilt head. It had everything done to it. Pretty much ready to rock and roll. Um, the motor's upside down right now, but I did go ahead and paint it black. We have everything we need. We got our pistons. You know, we got a timing chain, bearings, oil pump. I mean, everything. And then our gasket kit over here. So I have the Chilton manual, which does have specifications in it. And uh, we got our crankshaft all polished and bagged and ready to go. So I'm stoked. Yeah, we're finally diving into this. This is my first motor rebuild that I've ever done. So a little nervous, but just trying to take my time, measure all my clearances and yeah, just make sure that I'm doing it right. Moving forward. Um, got some main bearings I need to install. Need to install the crank, uh, measure my clearances, get my thrust washers in there, measure my end play, and uh, kind of just get the crankshaft in there. So without further ado, I'm finally rebuilding this motor. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. All right, so what I've done is I went through and I cleaned all of the channels with brake cleaner. I cleaned all the main bearings with brake cleaner and uh, went ahead and installed the main bearings into the block here and um, the other main bearings that go into the caps. So <clears throat> we got all our main bearings in and uh, I just went through with a little bit of oil and lubed up everything and then went back and dried it down just so it's not totally dry. I just went through the crankshaft and wiped everything down and now I'm going to throw the crankshaft in. So the plan here is to use some plasti gauge. I got the green one there hiding behind the red and uh, we're going to try and measure our clearances. So I'm going to throw the crankshaft in and uh, then we'll get our caps on there torqued down with some plasti gauge. All right guys, so I just torqued down all my main caps to 75 foot pounds and uh now we're gonna take them off this is what it looks like i can block the light so then uh, if you don't know how to use plastic gauge you kind of just use this as a reference to see what your oil clearance is and uh for this motor it's between 0 0.025 and 0 0.055 um, so yeah, we're there, we're good. And I think the uh, maximum is 0 0.08. So yeah, definitely good there. It's good to have the peace of mind. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the plastic gauge on here and on the caps. And then we're gonna do assembly lube and get this thing installed. And then we'll do the thrust washers as well. All right, so I just went ahead and only put in the center cap. I got my thrust washers in there and uh, just gave it a little spin and it feels pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all of my caps on. Um, at this point, I am using assembly lube and uh, I'm gonna get everything torqued down. I got some words of advice from uh, Greg at the machine shop because he has built a bunch of these. He said to go ahead, torque all your caps down, but then come back and loosen the center one and then give with a dead blow hammer right there, 
give the crank a smack on both sides to kind of set it and then come back and uh, retorque it. And uh, so I'm gonna do all that and then we can come in and measure um, in between our uh, thrush washers and our crank. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. All right guys, so I am moving on to pistons at this point. Uh, the crankshaft is all installed. Um, I was a little concerned about my end play <clears throat> in the crankshaft, um, but it's spinning super freely and it feels good. So I'm going to continue on. Uh, right now I got my pistons laid out. I got the bearings in my rings and uh, I just went and uh, I've been measuring my ring gap and uh, making sure the clearance is good there. And um, it's a little tight, but it seems all within spec. So I'm going to start assembling my pistons with their rings and we'll get them installed. All right. So what I have done is I went ahead and I put all of the rings onto my pistons. I popped off the caps and put all the bearings in the rods and the caps. So I got my piston ring compressor. Um, before I install each of the pistons, I'm going to make sure I orientate all the gaps of the rings correctly. And then uh, we can compress it and try to finally install uh, the pistons. Um, I'm also going to go through and wipe down the journals on the crank where the pistons go. And uh, a helpful tip, um, they recommend you put some rubber over the threads there to avoid damaging your crank when you install it so yeah uh, i'm gonna see how this goes okay well we got one piston in and uh seems okay so i'm gonna keep going get this other one number two installed um it's a slow process i'm just using my assembly lube on the bearings and uh, my ring compressor here from Harbor Freight, which it's not the best, but it works. And uh, yeah, I got the first one in. So I'm just gonna keep going down the line and then uh, at the end, I'll torque all of my bolts. All right, guys, I got all four pistons in. They are not torqued down yet, just hand tightened. And uh, I just threw on this old crank just to give it some spins. And uh, you know, it's a two hand process really, but I think it's good. Um, it spins freely. There's like a slight bit of resistance, I think just cause everything is new and uh, a tight fit. Um, but I'm uh, hoping and thinking that everything is okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead, torque the caps on the rods and uh see what we got to do after that went ahead and torqued all of the rod bolts for the caps to uh 45 foot pounds all right so almost forgot an important step and that is to plastic gauge. So um, I'm measuring the oil clearance with the rod bearings now. And uh, yeah, an important step, even though everything felt really good. I'm just gonna double check everything before re-lubing and retorquing. <laughs> 